Alright, look, there was only one video that could have got me out of YouTube retirement. And I'm not gonna lie, it was only the Grammys one. Is it because it's guaranteed views? Maybe. Alright? Look, I I'm just playing the game, alright? I'm just playing the game. If it was your favorite YouTuber, you wouldn't be mad at them, alright? CJ is actually sick, so, um, prayers up to bro. Um, bro is in the gulag right now. Oh yeah, also sub to the channel because I'm trying to get to a thousand subs so we can do a lot more stuff. So we got ABBA, we got Adele with Easy On Me, I forgot that even came out this year. Beyonce's Break My Soul, Mary J. Blige's Good Morning Gorgeous, uh, Brandi Carlile, You and Me on The Rock, who is yet another, yo, she is another Grammys merchant. Doja Cat's Woman, uh, Bad Habit by Steve Lacey, The Heart Part 5 by Kendrick, it's wild that that was... I'm surprised that was the song that was actually nominated. About Damn Time by Lizzo, as it was by Harry Styles. I don't mind Easy On Me winning a, a record of the year. Woman by Doja Cat, I don't need this winning, I'll be honest. Bad Habit by Steve Lacey would be out of left field. But I, I can't lie, I would probably want him to win it. I, I'm going to give it to Steve Lacey, Bad Habit, um, for personally. Who I think is going to win it, probably Lizzo or Beyonce. This will Beyonce or Adele. I think it's probably going to win it. Album of the year. We got ABBA, Adele, Bad Bunny, Beyonce, and Mary J. Blige, Brandi Carla, Coldplay, Kendrick Lamar, Lizzo, Harry Styles. I beg Harry Styles doesn't win a single Grammy this year. Ah, these are such weird picks, man. Like Coldplay. I don't want Coldplay winning anything ever. Uh, Renaissance was good, but do I really expect the dance album to really win album of the year? <sighs> if there was anyone to do it, it'd probably be Beyonce anyway. Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers is probably my pick to win it. I think it was such a really good album that was constructed really well in terms of just bringing across a message and, and the music in it was really good. Song of the year and oh my god, what the hell? A, B, C, D, E, F, U gets a pick for song of the year. Bro, Gail is like the most like dull pop singer I've heard. How did this wretched pop trap song? Oh my god. Gail really break my soul easy on me. God did. Jesus Christ, God did. Anything from God did should not win a single thing, I swear. Hey, give it to give it to Steve again. <laughs> you know what? Steve Lacey's running away with all the Grammys. I'm calling it now. Steve Lacey's running away with the Grammys. Actually, you know what? I, for song of the year, give it to Easy On Me. Give it to Easy On Me. I think that that should win. And, uh, or The Hard Part 5. Actually, The Hard Part 5 are Easy On Me. I think those are two solid songs that should could win song of the year. Yeah. Yeah, I'm happy with that, actually. That's new artist. Anita, Omar, Apollo, Domi, and JD Beck. Uh, Money Long, Samara Joy, Lotto. Somehow, Main Skin, Toby Nigue, uh, Molly Tuttle, and Wet Leg. What a name, Wet Leg. Domi and JD Beck is quite the shout, bro. It would be big for Neil So and Jazz if Domi and JD Beck win, which is the type of music I listen to a lot. Um, it would be big for for the, the genre. Uh, Money Long, I just cannot get into. I think she's just another R&B regen. Lotto probably wins this, but my pick is Domi and JD Beck. Best dance and electronic recording. Is there anything in the like last year had so many good songs and dance and electronic, and none of them got nominated, bro. Like look at this list right now. Break my soul. Bonobo, Diplo and Miguel, like David Guetta and Bebe Rexa, like that song is terrible. Uh, Kate and I, oh, that's actually a really good song. Hold on. Wait a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Rufus, uh, on my knees. I'm probably going to give it to Kate and I because that song is actually pretty good. Give it to that. But the fact that David Guetta and Bebe Rexa with I'm Good is even getting nominated. Oh, God. All right, here we go. Best R&B performance. Virgo's Groove, uh, Here With Me. Oh, actually, Here With Me is solid. I was an hours of money long, over a lucky day, hurt me so good. Damn, this is a mid off. This is the best R and B performance we got this year. God, there's so many people who dropped an R and B this year. I mean, doesn't Steve Lacey count for them as an R and B artist? 
Like, Steve Lacey could definitely get in there. Like, Giveon dropped an entire album, not one Giveon performance. You had Alex Isley, Kalani dropped, Yumi dropped, Raven Lene dropped. Like, this is nasty. Anyway, you get the point. This is just a sad list. A sad list. I'm just gonna give the mid-off to here with me with Mary J. Blige. Another mid-off, bro. What is this? I guess give it to Keeps On Falling with Babyface and the LMI. They're gonna keep putting go Good Morning Gorgeous in all the categories, and she's not winning with it. Shout out to BJ Martin getting a getting a nomination for this, but um, this is a really bad R&B category. Like these are bad. These aren't these aren't like the best of the best right now, at all whatsoever pj bro i actually like please don't walk away so give it to pj operation funk uh gemini rights uh drones terrence terrence martin starfruit by moonchild oh red balloon tank and the bangers honestly for me as much as i love Corey, um i love gemini rights and starfruit a little more it's crazy that moonchild's been in like making music for like a decade and i think this is probably like their first grammy nomination my heart is telling me moonchild because i love moonchild they're one of my favorite bands but my head is telling me steve lacy because he's been nominated for at least four categories now but yeah i want moonchild to win for sure moonchild babies and i love starfruit great album good morning gorgeous again breezy a slug fest of sad songs just Thir bro he put like 30 songs on that album i'm not even joking robert glasper's black radio 3 uh candy drip by lucky day watch the sun by pj morton that breezy album just needed 13 songs bro. if it had 13 songs it'd be a solid album but it was like 30 musically i think the two best albums here is watch the sun by pj morton and uh black radio 3 by robert glasper black radio 3 is all right but i think pj morton should have the better album hopefully pj gets it but if anything black radio 3 probably gets it god if chris brown gets that grammy that'll be sad day best rap performance oh god did yo that whole song was literally just wow i cannot believe they actually put god did off of a jay-z verse crazy crazy that's actually crazy low-key i think glorilla should be winning Yo, what a year for for glorilla by the way if she wins this grammy she gotta have like one of the best years in rap best melodic like what the f is this oh my god this is a nasty oh god let's see big energy gets carried by a by a sample first class gets carried by <laughs> fergie die i mean i like die hard it's definitely like a above average song but it's not like the best on that album i'm probably picking die hard here even the category from last year was pretty decent this is bad best rap song churchill downs this category sucks ass like what do you even pick here this is the mid off again bro just give it to the hard part five bro not one side of denzel not a side of Earth Gang, not a side of Saba, Corday, Cochise. There's no Joey Badass in here either. What is this? It's Almost Dry gets a best rap album, but they didn't even nominate one of the songs. Like, it doesn't even make sense. Give me Mr. Murrah and the Big Steppers because this is getting sad. Is this list good? No. Is this a mid off for the entire bro? <laughs> All the categories were basically a mid off. Like, I'm asking myself, did they even try? Maybe I'm back. Maybe I'm back again doing videos. Maybe. I don't know. Bye.